What is up, everybody out there in YouTube land? I'm back again with another review on yet another block logo classic WWF belt. Excuse the voice. <clears throat> Here we go. Alrighty. So check this out, guys. This is a boot. But the strap is made by yours truly, okay? The plate work is by Fight Night Belts, okay, guys? Sammy Malik, man, he does an amazing job with these plates. Uh, the way you mount these on the strap and everything, it is just, he does a phenomenal job of securing them and the way they mount on. Very easy, straightforward, beautiful plate work. I did a video before on the uh, intercontinental belt that I bought from him, and it was the all brass one. This is the standard definition zinc 24 karat gold plating belt. I have no regrets whatsoever. This is beautiful, guys. Now, I had him send the plates. I made the strap myself, okay? And what a beautiful belt it is. I am a guy that, um, unlike some people that are out there collecting, I don't really appreciate the huge uh, dome that they make on these belts or the huge curves or bends. It, it's really over exaggerated. Even the original ones were like that. Okay, guys, they had a curve to it and it wasn't that exaggerated to some of them. Um, <clears throat> I have a belt that I'm working on right now. I actually had the plates sent back because the curve was so much. It was like holding a taco, guys. It's, it's just too much sometimes. Plus we want these for display, okay? So, when they have a flatter profile to them, they show very nicely. They, they show up a little bit better. You have them on display. They display much better, nicer. You get a fuller frontal view of everything. But anyways, on with this review. Let's try to make it a little shorter than my other videos. Um, it is 4 millimeter plates all the way around. The side plates do have a curve to them. It's not exaggerated, super huge curve. It's nice, it hugs, it's just right. The reason why I wanted to do the strap myself is because, well, even though they deserve a lot of credit for what they do, all these belt makers, not just about all of them do the wrong cut on the strap. And what I wanted was a strap with the right size tooling, the right way it hugs around the edges, and the cut around here, top and bottom. And that's what I ended up with, a beautiful result. Um, his work off of uh, my strap and put together just makes a, a beautiful belt. The blue is just perfect on the center of this thing. Pops right at you. I always said this belt could have been and nothing against the winged eagle, which I also got by Fight Night Belts, which is over here. And I have a uh, video on that, another review on that one also. But man, sometimes this, this belt is just simple, but very nicely put together. Anyways, um, feels like this could have been a heavyweight title belt to represent the WWF also. It was very much loved and used by plenty of talented wrestlers in the day. Um, you name it, most of them had it. Sadly, nowadays, it's not what it used to be. But here we go, guys. I'm going to give you a full turn of her. Bring her around. The way I like my leather is flexible. 
but stiff enough to hold the belt, hold shape, not bind or kink or anything like that. Here's the back of it right there. Okay. Turn around this way. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful belt. Now the snaps align. Of course they align. I made the strap. No problems there. Very nice strong snaps. Made in the USA. Here they go. Let me uh, turn it around. We'll start off the back. We're already here. We might as well do this. So here we have the back. Look at that leather, guys. Real leather, not vinyl on top of leather, okay? It's real, actual leather. Cut by hand, very nice and straight. No kinks, no bubbles. All the hardware is hidden. Very beautiful, very supple leather. Very soft, nice and flexible, not cardboard, okay? Very nice. Look at that green. Let me get you closer. You can smell it. Just smell the leather. Ah, look at that. Amazingly beautiful. Well, let's give her a turn around. Okay, guys. Look at that. It's just amazing. Okay, guys. Look at that layout. Let me get a top view of this. That is just gorgeous, guys. Here's the belt tip. Okay. Look at that. Let me get the cut around the plate, the main plate done correctly not rounded off sorry for the squeaky chair here's the other end I was gonna put my signature on here but uh, I'm not a famous uh, famous belt maker thought that was kind of corny I did it on the first belt that I had ever made but not on this um, if somebody ever decides to buy this I want it to be unbranded and you know, if they want to brand it later on, so be it. Here's a snap box. It's a 2x8. Shell tooling. Just looks nice. The way it's supposed to be. Of course, I still have to burnish all the edges on this. Once I do that, perfect belt. Okay, but after you finish putting these together, you have to give time for things to rest and take. And then I'll come back around here and burnish it all off and it'll be perfect. Here it is, guys. Look at that. The edge, the belt tip there comes perfectly aligned with the leather. Not just squeezed in like crazy. Yeah. Very nice. What else can I say? It's the Intercontinental title. WWF block logo. Sammy Malik. Beautiful work, brother. Fight night belts. Not to say that he can't make this, but this strap on this but it just feels good knowing that i can accomplish it and put it together for myself so i am going to empty out my cabinet i'm gonna put the rest of the belts in there look at this gorgeous look at this gorgeous thing over here too jesus gotta show it again just real quick love that cut Beautiful. And uh, just for a sneak peek, just so you guys can see, I am working on the next one. This is a uh, custom belt for a customer. 
I've already cut out the strap. Very nice leather, A grade. Everything is already mapped out for it, ready to go. I will begin tooling it. It will have a belt tip on this side also. Um, I know it didn't have one originally. This is a custom, so it's going to have a matching belt tip for the rest of the plates in the center plate. It's a surprise, guys, how this is going to look. Tune in for when this is complete. You guys are going to really love this, I think. Very nice leather. Very nice strap. It's going to be hot, hot. And, of course, um, those guys are over there just watching. There will be a review on that one next um, for the re-leathering that I did on that. I'm not even going to get close yet, so you guys will appreciate the tooling and everything I did for that one. So if you notice, it's not the fan dube strap anymore where it folds and kinks and doesn't stay up on its own. That one's next to review. Ah, yeah, it's late night, guys. I thought I'd just do this before I... Call it a night. Calling it a night with fight night belts. There we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment, subscribe, hit the notification thing. Go back and look at the rest of the videos if you like. I got more stuff coming up. And uh, yeah, man. See you on the next one. Take care of each other, guys. See ya.